We love foods. We love Nottingham. And we want to talk to you about all the amazing food and drink in Nottingham. This is gorgeous, and that is exactly our mission. Independent food, independent drink in Notts, what's good? We kept seeing all these people on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, asking the same questions. Where do I get the best lunch in Notts? Where do I get the best coffee in Notts? Where is the best pizza in Notts? So we want to try and answer those questions. So that's the whole point of this series. First up, this episode is about the best lunches in Notts. So we've only got a few rules. They've got to be independent. They've got to have at least a few dishes under the price of six pounds, which has been tough, but we think we've done it. And the food's got to be really, really good. So our first independent lunch of the day is pizza. Isn't that the way every good day should start? We are here at Secret Pizza Nottingham, which is next to Rough Trade Nottingham on Broad Street in Nottingham, funnily enough. Uh, and we are gonna eat a bunch of pizza. We're gonna talk to the guys that founded it and we're gonna have a lot of gooey goodness in slow-mo. Here's the slow-mo. So we have a beautiful margarita right in front of us. I'm going to use this as an excuse to eat, and I'm going to ask Will here, who's one of the guys that helps make Secret Pizza happen. How did it all start? How did you come together? How did you end up in this very cool little space next to Rough Trade? We've always liked pizza, you know, we've always been fans of pizza. Um, I could probably hold my hands up and say it's my favourite food. And just kind of had like a bit of an epiphany that nowhere does proper Italian inspired pizza, you know. And we're trying to do that, but with using like really good high quality ingredients mm -hmm. um, that are a bit closer to home. So, so. so when you say you had this epiphany, was that all three of you guys that helped start it? Kind of, you were just having a conversation in the house, like, we need to do this pizza. Yeah, I mean, me, Joe and, and Danny, we all live together. Okay. Um, and we're all kind of like, we're all artists, really. Okay. And uh, so we used to eat quite a lot of sort of frozen pizzas, <laughs> <laughs> which um, don't cut it anymore. Off camera, you were telling me about a bunch of the different things that make this so good. Right. Um, so what are kind of the key ingredients, the key local ingredients to make this happen? The flour that we use is um, it's a UK heritage grain. It's unbleached and um, it's stone ground, which kind of retains that natural colour and uh, flavour. And there's more nutrition to it. We're using San Marzano tomatoes, um, traditionally. You know, that's the way they do it in Italy. That's a raw sauce. It just goes on blended. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of oregano some organic uh, British sea salt in there as well. Yeah. Buffalo mozzarella on there as well that we import from Italy. <laughs> and then we grow our own basil. So this is our uh, Fiorentina. It looks amazing, wow. We're using a, an egg from uh, just between like Nottingham and, and Leicester. So they're biodynamic eggs. And you see, we see the color of them. Yeah, I mean, that is very vivid. The, the yolk is almost like fluorescent. Decided to put this one on the menu now. So this is a staple of the menu now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Look at those colors, man, that looks incredible. Okay, let's do this. So we're using, um, we're using an 18 hour sourdough with all of our pizzas. So we make the dough fresh from scratch every day for the next day. Oh wow, yeah that is a taste sensation, that is incredible. The heat really adds to the flavour, just having it like piping up fresh out of the oven, just really really adds to it. Um, wow, I'm just going to eat it on camera now, it, this is, yeah this is incredible. I'm sure one liner to why they should come and, come and try Secret Pizza. Um, well, why not? You know, uh, here we go. That is exactly it. There's loads of great pizza restaurants in Nottingham, yeah. um, but I think we're offering something different. Yeah. So you know, come and try it for yourselves. And at an amazing price. I need to reiterate that for like five, six quid, you can get this incredible. Like I'm full after like two slices, and it's so good. <laughs> this is the f f Florentina. 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 <laughs> We are here at Blend, this is in Snenton Market. This bit is technically called the Avenues, I think. And we are here for one thing and one thing only. Amazing grilled cheeses. We have stuff for the carnivores, you have stuff for the herbivores, you have stuff for people that like bacon in their dessert cheeses. What's a dessert cheese, I hear you ask, Sam? We're gonna find out, but for now, let's go in. So we're inside Blend now. We're here with head cheese maestro Danny. Hi Danny. Hi. So we have a very cheese orientated menu, full of puns, full of all the good stuff if you're a big fan of cheese. So why don't you give us a bit of a heads up. How did the Blend menu come about? How, what's the ethos behind the Blend menu? So the Blend menu started 
with just an ad on Gumtree for an American New York style grilled cheese sandwich bar. Amazing. Which, as I'm from New Jersey, I was like, yes. I saw this and I just had that gut instinct that like, this is the thing yeah. that I'm gonna be good at. Once they had a different chef in to do the bare bones skeleton ideas, but then I kind of went in and I jazzed it and I punned it up and I made everything that little bit weird. Yeah. That's kind of my signature style of cooking. So I think we're now Brionce. We're gonna yeah. make a Brionce, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So we need to get donned up in aprons and stuff. Let's get cheesy. Okay, so we're now going over to the kitchen. We're gonna make your favorite fungi, the most beautiful cheese in all of Nottingham, the Brionce. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> all of our grilled cheeses start with freshly delivered sourdough bread nice. from the Welbeck Estate, okay. we get every day. And then we have a base mix of cheese that goes into all of our grilled cheeses, which is a combination of cheddars, emmentals, mozzarellas, things that melt and go Stringy. And then for the Brionce, our house special, yeah. we roast wild mushrooms in red wine vinegar with loads of black pepper and then loads of fresh spinach, of course. French brie, and then we whack it on the grill. Mm -hmm. On our vegetarian only grill, cook it for three to five minutes. Done. Wow. I know we have the best grilled cheese in Nottingham that yeah. quickly. Okay, so we have it. We have Brionce in the room. Um, a few moments later. The Queen Bee is too much. Yeah. You know, I'm already thinking about your single ladies dance and my mind's blown. <laughs> um, so I think we just need to get stuck in, don't we? Have some. I'm sorry for this, guys. I'm really, really, oh, 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 wow. Mm. Yeah. That's the way grilled cheese should be enjoyed. Mm. Mm. That is, that's so good. You can't hear the standing because I'm mumbling. <laughs> Oh wow, that's amazing. The flavors are so rich. I will not gonna lie to you, Danny. I normally hate mushrooms. I didn't want to hurt your feelings when you said that we were gonna make the Brionce. But um, the mushrooms really work. They're really complement it. Really soft. They really come through really softly. Um, yeah, I'm going in for another bite. I don't even care. I said to save it. Wow is the word of the day, but I really don't know what else to say. Uh, amazing food, amazing people, amazing coffee. We haven't talked about that too much in this video because we're all going to do a coffee special coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. But yeah, it's an incredible experience. If you are a fan of cheese, obviously it's amazing. And we've also got those kind of odd but wonderful dessert creations that they also have. They also have a new menu. Rob, give me the new menu. And by the time you're watching this, this will be live. And look at some of the puns we have here, guys. We have a Rick and Morty reference. We have Pickle Rick as a cheese with Szechuan. Oh, it's got Szechuan barbecue pulled pork on it. Not too, meh, gherkins. And immense cheese. <laughs> and not only do they do food, but they also do a bunch of events. One of the main ones being their monthly cinema club, where they set up a cinema down here in Stenton, and they put amazing films on with obviously amazing food, amazing coffee. They have, they have an alcohol license as well, so they serve beer, if that's your thing. Come down, check their social media. It'll be here, I think, or here, or here, somewhere on the screen will be their social media. Come and check it out. Highly, highly recommended. So you've reached the end of our first video. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We are currently filming part two of this video, which is how I'm talking to you in the future. Mystery. Uh, we continue the theme of lunches in the second part of this episode. Three places. We've got some really healthy food. We've got some really meaty food. And we've got some really bready food. Amazing. I know you can't wait. The next episode drops on the 20th of April, 2018. If you're watching this in real time, respect. If you're not, you're late. If you are excited about future episodes, please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help. Give us a like. Follow us on social media. All the magic will be happening on the screen somewhere. And yeah, thank you for watching. Let us know who you think should be featured. Nottingham is awesome and you are too.